Welcome to your five minute daily yoga session. All you're gonna need today is your mat or maybe a towel. We're gonna be down on the ground on our knees. So I want you to be nice and comfortable. So if you don't have a yoga mat or on carpet, for instance, take a cushion or a towel, put it under the knees. As we're gonna step out into our low lunge, let's get into it. Stepping out the left foot into our low lunge position, glutes and booty are on, pressing through the top of the right foot as we gently rock forward to open the right hip flexor. Booty and pelvis are still tucked under. I don't want any of this dumping into the back. It's not about being a big crescent shape here. Simply a hip opener. If you're feeling it a lot in the lower back, keep tucking the booty and the quad under. Come more back towards center and gently extending through the hip from this position with the hips tucked open can actually make it more intense for the hips, which is lovely and reverts it from going straight to that lower back. Beautiful work. Now, releasing that to come forward, placing hands on the ground, pushing through the right hand, bending right knee so the foot, the heel comes towards the booty. If it's available to you, I want you to open through the left hand, grabbing the right foot and gently helping that foot towards the booty, big quad opener. Looking over the left shoulder to help with the twist here. It's a pretty intense one. If you can't reach the foot, totally fine. Just keep reaching to keep that shoulder open and eventually over time, you're gonna get that foot. It's a lovely, lovely little feeling when you finally catch the foot. Releasing to the ground. Now, crawling the left foot out to the long edge of the mat, nice and wide stance here. You can come into an active lizard pose or if you feel it, dropping that back right knee into a a lesser intense lizard lunge, but still perfectly fine. Coming onto the blade of the left foot, taking left palm to the inside of the left knee, pressing that knee outward as we look over the left shoulder, big outer hip opener. If you're active and you're up with that leg raised and straight off the ground out the back, core on, booty on. Always support the lower back. Dropping to the ground, beautiful work. Bringing that left foot back, shake the hips out momentarily, switching to the other side as we take the right foot out in a 90 degree angle, planting through the left top of the foot, low lunge hip opener. Booty and glutes are on. Beautiful work, really feel where you've got to tuck under, sense how the lower back is feeling. One side is always generally gonna be different to the other, so choose your own adventure and what feels the most comfortable for you. Beautiful work, releasing hands to the ground. Now, if you had on the other side, we're gonna try and catch that back foot again for a big quad opener. So bending the left heel towards the booty, opening the right arm as we push through the left palm and grabbing that right, that left foot, pardon me, bringing the foot towards the booty, big quad stretch. Big opener. One day, if you're not getting it today, you will catch that foot. Everyone is capable of catching that foot. So don't stress if you're not there yet. Yet, not never. Beautiful work, dropping that to the ground as we prepare for our lizard lunge on the right. So crawling that right foot to the long edge of the mat. If you're in the active lizard lunge, activate that back leg. Here, you should be completely active and almost buoyant. Almost be able to, if you can take the hands off the ground, that's when you know your lizard lunge is active. So that's a nice test to know. Always supported, not just dumping into that hip. Coming onto the blade of the right foot, dropping that back knee, if, it, if you're finding the lizard lunge too much there. Coming into the blade of the right foot, taking the right palm, pushing it into the inside of the right knee, looking over right shoulder, or an active right shoulder with raised back knee. Couple rounds of breath here. Beautiful work, it's a strong one I know, but a beautiful hip opener. Dropping that knee back to the ground, swinging that right leg around, coming back into our heels, beautiful work. Now let's come onto our back just to finish up today and really squeeze out all that tension. So onto your back on the mat, take the knees to the chest, nice big squeeze here, as we then bend the knees at a 90 degree angle, catching the feet if it's available to you, or maybe just behind the thighs, as we pull ourselves into happy baby, bringing those knees towards the armpit, tail towards the mat. So think whole spine, length of your spine is planted to that mat. 
flexing through the feet and squeezing the knees towards the armpits. Big open the hips through the adductors, the hips, the hip flexors. Beautiful work. Bring your knees back to center, planting the feet on the ground. Give them a nice little windscreen wiper out. You've done a lot of active hip openers here today. Beautiful effort. Enjoy your day. Thank you.